These are 10 free Quest 2 games that you do not want to miss out on. This is the biggest release for this month, maybe even the biggest release on the Quest 2 since Bone Lab came out. And I'm talking about Roblox VR. It's not fully out yet, but it's on App Lab, meaning that you can just search it up on the store and find it under the App Lab section. Roblox VR is exactly like normal Roblox, just worse. If you're somebody who loves Roblox, then this is for you because your love for Roblox will help push you and ignore the terrible and horrible experience that you will get from playing this game. It's super laggy, it's blurry, it's vomit inducing, and it makes you want to cry. By far the worst experience on the quest, but it's a very popular game So I just recommend you guys try it even just one time However, this next game is one of my favorite classic quest 2 games on the platform By the way, I have to warn you guys about all these free games at the end of this video AmixR is an FPS game that is just like Pavlov, but for some reason I like it just a little bit more It takes everything from every FPS game on the quest 2 and puts it in this game Now the game itself doesn't feel that polished and when playing it the character models seem really big and my hands were huge huge like this guy from uh this cartoon but this game is just so fun for no reason there are different maps for you to play on and for different guns for you to use if you want to snipe you can do that if you want to use a shotgun go ahead if you want to use whatever then do whatever it's a gun game i recommend this game because it's super fun but this next game i recommend everybody to try out because of one particular reason ultimax is a game where you are a robot with arms that you shoot out to hit the ball into the other team's goal it's literally like rocket league but just robotic you can teleport from place to place rather than moving freely which i think think is really unique and better than having free movements and if you aren't fit then don't worry because this game is gonna whip you into shape literally 20 minutes of playing i get so tired that really happens with a lot of quest games but specifically this one Star Wars Jedi Training is a game where you have a lightsaber and you get to hit and stab and deflect and do a whole bunch of things while cosplaying as a Star Wars Jedi dude. I'm not a Star Wars fan but this game looks so fun just to hop into and waste time and get immersed into becoming somebody who lives in a Star Wars universe. There are other Star Wars games on the Quest 2 that I highly recommend that I have finished myself and rated all of them a 10 out of 10 and that is the Vader Immortal series. Those games are amazing but since they each cost $10 meaning a total of $30 for all of the games you can just get this game and then play around with all the cool features you can play you can dual wield with the lightsabers you can find one that is two-handed dual bladed there's you can you can do so much i recommend this if you're a star wars fan but this next game is a must play for every quest 2 player and i'm about to explain why all these games are cool but not with the quest 2's terrible battery life so that's why i recommend amvr's neck hanging power bank from amvr themselves it is 8,000 milliamp hours and you're probably thinking whoa being on your neck is really uncomfortable it's not that bad it's great and increase the battery life and it's not the worst thing in the world and it works it just works and i recommend you guys check it out in the description below use code poi tech for 10 percent off of your purchase thank you population one is one of the most iconic quest 2 games of all time it's even shipped on the box that i got with my quest 2 along with beat saber and other iconic games it's the best battle royale game on the quest 2 where you load in by yourself or with your friends and you guys are taken to a giant map where you can pick and land wherever you want once you land you can loot up get shield weapons whatever you want food and go off and fight people and become the last one standing this game is super fun on the quest and i'm going to explain to you why this is a must play first of all it's free who wouldn't want a free game and second of all the community based around this game isn't as toxic as some other games for example gorilla tag gorilla tag is known to have a bunch of toxic kids going around on the platform and annoying everybody but for me in population one i didn't come across a single person who was super annoying instead i actually made a friend and we ran up a bunch of games together and and got a bunch of free wins also this game in my opinion is super easy just to get on and get a win there are a bunch of little kids who don't know what they're doing sometimes they might accidentally drop their weapon and look stupid and letting me get an easy elimination on them this is one of my favorite games on the quest 2 and it gets a personal badge of honor from me but this next game simply reminds me of the warning that i have at the end of this video this game is unique and here i'm gonna tell you why high bow is a game where you try to eliminate people with a bow there's a ton of movement in this game since it's pretty much a movement shooter it requires a ton of skill I've played this game in a long time, so there are tons of updates and features that I haven't used myself, making the game an even better play for other people. There are different types of bows, arrows, and even melee weapons. I'm not sure why you'd want to bring a melee weapon to a bow game. That's like bringing a knife to a gunfight. I say this game is unique because of the movement, different types of weapons, different types of game modes, and a whole bunch more. They even have a battle royale game mode that didn't exist when I played the game, so I recommend you guys get this game ASAP.
The next game I have on my list is like an experimental game and I'll explain why a little later. This game is called The Silkworm and it's a game where you pretend to be like Spider-Man and swing around the city. Unfortunately for this game, swinging is about the only thing that you can do and climbing buildings. There are no enemies, no storyline, no nothing. The reason why I call this game experimental is because of how it focuses on one aspect and tries to perfect it and that aspect is swinging. And if you're wondering, did they perfect it? Uh, uh, that's for you guys to find out if you go ahead and download this game. But this next game is very very brutal and i have to warn you guys play this game at your own discretion let's go chopping is a game that i'm not sure if i can show on youtube or not but it's a zombie game where you're in a store and your job is to eliminate zombies the reason why i can't show it on youtube is because it's super gory and i only recommend people who are old enough to play this game that's why i have a completely blurred out in so you can look at the captions down below if you can handle gore then i recommend you play this game but if that's something you can't handle then completely skip this because this is meant for people who are into that sort of thing which i hope there aren't many of this next game i have is called bait it's a game where you go fishing and you catch rare fish to make an aquarium popular again this game is relaxing and i'll tell you why fishing is not something that i see as competitive or very sporty but rather something that is more on the relaxing side sometimes when i go to the park which is rarely ever i see an old man fishing sitting in his chair with a bucket of bait by his side this game is nice if you want to collect some fish and waste time after a job after school or doing homework in this game you can go to different maps talk to different npcs and more this game has a ton of content and it is very polished and i recommend it but this game that i have next is a horror game is a very popular topic on youtube back rooms is the last game I have on this list or and it's something that people are into in this game you are in the back rooms and you are being watched by something the back rooms I'm pretty sure it's just an infinite amount of rooms there are different levels to it there's a whole bunch of lore if you want to see it there's a bunch of content on it on YouTube but in this game you're being watched by something and then there are different game modes like classic def and free mode I recommend you try all of the game modes out and I also recommend that you play this game at night this game is on a ton of platforms like Windows mobile Linux so even if you don't have a headset you can play if you want though you don't have to be missing out but now let's move on to the warning that i mentioned at the beginning of this video we all know that free games are great and paid games are not. Well, that's the problem with these free games. Some free games are so good and super fun to play until they aren't free anymore. For example, there was a game that I played about a year ago called Battle Talents. I praised this game for being just like Blade and Sorcery, but completely free. Because at the time, I did not own Blade and Sorcery. This game was super cool, but since it was really new, I didn't have that much content. But one day I woke up and found out that the game was put on the Oculus Store and now it costs money. I told my viewers about this and they actually corrected me and they told me that there are two versions of the game one that costs money on the oculus store and another version with less content that is still free although this goes against my argument i still have a point to prove what i'm trying to say is that when you see these videos about free quest games i recommend you go and actually try some of these games before they start costing money not only will that support the developers and give them more downloads but it can also give you guys a free game to play for a while and some time to waste if you guys enjoyed this video watch this one about 10 things that every quest 2 user hates